This is a quick tutorial uh, about a problem that some of you, not very many of you, but some of you might encounter on exam two. So very quickly, uh, the question will say, find the area of the shaded region. And we have two geometric shapes here, and so we want to find the area in this one of the circle, but without this rectangle in the middle. So what we need to do is find the entire area of the circle, everything. So if this had been shaded in as well, the entire thing, and then we subtract this clear part right here in the rectangle. So we'll have to find two areas and then subtract to find the shaded region. And I put that down here. So if you need to pause your video so you can write it down really quick, go ahead. And just uh, to stay uh, consistent with the test, we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so the first thing we need, and if you have your formula sheet, have that right next to you so you don't have to go back and forth and try and find these formulas. So if you take a look at your formula sheet, the area of a circle is pi times r squared, r being the radius. So we're going to look up here at our uh, circle, and right here we're told that the entire diameter of the circle is 10 millimeters. So to find the radius, we break that in half, and that's 5 millimeters. Okay, so we have 5 millimeters. We're just going to toss that in here for the radius, which I've done 5 millimeters squared, uh, because that's the formula. Okay, so then we square everything in the parentheses using the order of operations. So 5 squared is 25. Millimeters squared is millimeters squared. And then we still have this multiply uh, pi. So I'm going to come over here. We can use Excel or we can use our, uh, our own calculator if you want to. I'm going to use Excel first and then I'll go into the calculator so you can see both variations. Um, if you don't want to use Excel, you can skip the next couple of seconds in your video. Okay, so we're going to type in pi and open and close the parentheses type a time sign, even though we know uh, if there isn't a, anything here, it's multiplication, but Excel has to have it written in there so it knows what to do with the programming. Okay, and so we're going to times that by 25, and we don't need to put in the millimeter squared, that's just the units, and we'll tack that on at the end. Press enter, and there we go. We have 78.53982. And down here I wrote out pi 3.14 and I just went out a couple more decimal places. You don't have to because you're going to be using your calculator to calculate this. Uh, don't round your pi to 3.14. Go ahead and use your pi function in your calculator. If you don't have a pi function in your calculator, go ahead and use the 3.14. But it's much faster just to press the little pi button. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, my calculator as well to show that it'll work on either Excel or the calculator. Oh, sorry, it's having problems coming up. There we go. Okay, uh, so I'm going to type in pi on your calculator. It's over here. Do you see this little blue pi symbol? To get the uh, symbols above the buttons, we go to the blue button saying I want to do the blue numbers here. So I'm going to do second pi, and it brings up pi for me. And we don't have to do times in the calculator because it's a little less complicated than Microsoft Excel, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in anyway and type in 25. And remember, you can use your number pad or you can use your uh, mouse and press it up here. Press enter, and there we go. Same thing. And we're going to round it to two decimal places out. So this is 78.5 and then 4. The 9 will make the 3 round up. Okay, so that's just the area of the circle. Now we need to find the area of the rectangle, and the formula is length times width. And right here we have it labeled 5 millimeters and 2 millimeters. So I'm going to put those in for length and width, 5 millimeters times 2 millimeters. 5 times 2 is 10, but millimeters times millimeters is millimeters squared. And that's really key here because we want those units to match, or I couldn't add and subtract these uh, units. It would be like apples to oranges, but because they're millimeters squared and millimeters squared, they're oranges and oranges, so we can go ahead and combine those. So to find the area of the shaded region, we're going to take the big one, subtract the smaller one, so in this one the area of the circle, subtract the area of the rectangle, 
which is 78.54 millimeters squared minus 10 millimeters squared, which gives me, whoops, that's my mistake. <laughs> get in there and actually subtract it so we have 68.54 millimeters squared and that's the area of the shaded region. Now again only some of you will encounter this on the test not a lot of you but just in case and really quickly you might encounter something like this which will be the area of uh, a triangle on the outside and a circle in the middle uh, so to find the area of the shaded region here again you take the larger shape subtract the smaller shape and we're going to again round out only two decimal places. Okay so with your formula sheet next to you the area of a triangle is one-half times base times height and so we'll do area is one-half the base of this triangle is 14 inches and the height is 14 inches so I'm gonna do one-half times 14 which is 7 7 inches times 14 inches 7 times 14 is 98 and inches times inches is inches squared. Remember whenever you're dealing with um, area you'll have inch, uh, the unit squared and whenever you're dealing with volume you're gonna have a cube uh, so it'll be like inches cubed. It, and uh, I'll go back to that in just a minute. Okay so the area of the circle the smaller one we're gonna subtract so we have uh, Again, pi r squared, here's our formula, and our radius here is labeled 4, this is 4, so we'll just toss the 4 in for r, and then we're going to square both of these. We'll have 4 squared, which is 16, and inches squared, which is inches squared, and times that by pi. Again, I just wrote out pi 3.14159, but you can use your pi button. So we're going to come in here, second pi and I'm going to times this by 16 which gives me 50.2 and we're going to round to the nearest hundredth just to stay consistent with the test which makes uh, the 5 round the 6 up 1 so it'll be 50.27 and our units are inches squared and again we can go ahead and use Microsoft Excel as well so we'll come in here to get it to calculate like a calculator press your equal sign then write pi with uh, your uh, keyboard, open and close the parentheses, and then we have to type, yes, you have to multiply by 16, and there we go. So we have two different methods, but don't forget, once we find the area of both of those, we need to subtract. So I'm going to do 98 inches squared minus 50.27 inches squared, and that's key to have the units matching so that we can uh, go ahead and uh, subtract those because it's like apples and apples. And I'm going to come over here and do equals 98 minus, and I'm going to do a cell reference. I'm going to just one left click up here, and it'll take that number and subtract it for me. Uh, that's what we call cell referencing. Press enter, and there we go, 47 point. 7, 3. And we keep our units as inches squared. Okay, I hope that helped you for uh, the test for those of you who might encounter it. Good luck!